Oh, hello, good morning. Um, thank you, Dr. Jose. Um, I'd like to thank uh, uh, Governor State University for the invitation uh, to speak here today. And uh, I would like to speak to you uh, today for a few minutes about Brazil, uh, especially regarding its business uh, environment and uh, investment framework. Uh, but before uh, uh, talking about that, I would like to give uh, you some, sir? Okay, thank you. Um, I'd like to give you some uh, uh, key facts that will help you uh, gain insight on Brazil's economy and, and uh, help you know the essentials to invest or do, do business with Brazil. So um, let me just figure out how, let's just click here. Or, okay. Can I just, okay. Sorry about that. <laughs> Okay, here we go. So um, the first thing you have to have in mind about Brazil uh, is that it's a really big country. Uh, we are the fifth largest nation in the world and the largest uh, country in, the, in Latin America. Um, we have a population of over uh, 200 million people and uh, we share borders with 10 different countries in South America. Um, our territory is also rich in uh, in natural resource uh, such as iron ore, we are the second largest. Uh, we have the second largest reserve of iron ore uh, in the world. And um, since 2007, uh, we've been hosting a series of large, of big events such as the Pan American Games, uh, World Military Games. Last year, we had the Soccer World Cup, and uh, next year we'll have the Olympics. And you see that uh, this kind of events has also impacts in our in our economy. Um, Talking about our economy, uh, just so that you can have an idea of, of its size, uh, I'd like to mention that we are the third main market, market for biodiesel. We are uh, the third main aircraft producer uh, in the world. We are the fourth largest market for cell phones, uh, automobiles, and TV sets. We uh, have the fifth largest market for medical equipment and 60% of all research and development uh, in Latin America is located in Brazil. And uh, besides that, uh, it's uh, worth, it to it worth to mention that we have one of the largest uh, domestic market in the world. So you see that there is a lot of opportunities uh, uh, in Brazil. Um, just so that you can have an idea of the importance of international trade uh, for our economy. Uh, here uh, in this graphic, you see the evolution of our trade balance uh, in the last decade, since 2002, actually. And uh, here you can see that there was a constant uh, uh, increase, with exception of 2009, due to the international uh, economic crisis. But uh, the, the amount of international trade of, uh, we had since, uh, since 2002 has uh, greatly increased. And uh, here you can find a list of our main uh, major trading partners. Um, you can notice that uh, the US is uh, one of our biggest par uh, partners. It's second only to China regarding trade. And uh, it uh, holds a large portion of our, uh, of our trade, international trade. Here you just have... Uh, so a list of our main uh, trading pr trade products. You see that uh, coincidentally, uh, coincidentally uh, uh, some of the main import products and uh, export products are the same. You see that uh, we mainly import mechanic machinery, uh, closely, uh, closely followed by fuel oil, and uh, we export, that is the, the second uh, half of the of the tab is uh, fuel oil, iron and steel, mechanic, machi mechanic machinery, and, uh, and planes. So here, um, this graphic shows a little bit of uh, the evolution of our uh, foreign direct investment attraction. And uh, this graphic always shows that the amount since, since 2002 uh, more than tripled. So uh, compared to other countries, what does that mean? Um, Brazil in 2005 uh, was the 14th uh, country in the amount of foreign direct investment received. And 2013, uh, we moved up in this rank to fourth place. So uh, the amount last year was around uh, 66 billion dollars invested in Brazil. Um, 
Another, uh, another data that is important uh, in terms of economy is our unemployment rate. Uh, right, right now, uh, we are in our historic low of unemployment rate. And last year, uh, only 4.8% of our population was unemployed, which uh, impacts directly in our uh, domestic market. Uh, another index that also impact in the size of our domestic market is the, the, the number of people that is in middle class. Um, since 2003, 40 million people uh, ascended to middle class in Brazil. And uh, the, 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 the number of people in middle class in Brazil uh, in 2014 was estimated in 118 million people. So you see that uh, it's a... Uh, it's a strong, we have a strong domestic market, and uh, due to the strengthening of our middle class, the perspective at that by 2020, Brazil uh, will be the fifth largest consumer market uh, in the world. Um, so let's talk a little, a little bit about uh, investments in Brazil right now. Uh, I think it's important uh, to talk about infrastructure, and uh, investments in infrastructure in Brazil also uh, increased a lot in the last decade. Uh, the, 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 this increase, this growth of uh, investment infrastructure since 2003 was of 142%. Uh, here, uh, this, this, this increase in, in infrastructure is due mainly to uh, uh, government, uh, governmental initiatives. So uh, we have several uh, infrastructure programs uh, and as I told you about the, the, the uh, I, I told you about the big events that also has a huge impact infrastructure investments. So we had a lot of uh, work done for uh, the Pan American Games, for the World Cup, and a lot of work has been doing for the Olympics ne next year. And this, all this, uh, all this work impacts in the amount of money invested in, in infrastructure in Brazil. Um, Another area in which the government has increased investment is in education. Our main program in this area is called Brazil Scientific Mobility Program, uh, or BSMP, as it's known here in the US. Uh, this program uh, aims to, uh, uh, to increase the number of uh, scientists and uh, engineers in Brazil. And uh, it's focused on, on granting scholarships to undergrad and grad students in, in STEM areas. Um, its budget is of $1.5 billion, and it has granted since 2011, when it was launched, over 75,000 uh, scholarships to Brazilian students of these areas. Uh, most of these students actually come to the US. So actually, um, uh, over 22,000 students have already uh, been to the U.S. Uh, with government, uh, government grants. And uh, right now we have almost 4,000 students in the Midwest within this program. Uh, another uh, pro program, uh, investment program that is worth mention is called Startup Brazil. This uh, program was created by, the, by Brazil, Brazil's federal government, and it worked closely, uh, closely with uh, accelerators or incubators. And uh, the government, with this incubator, select some uh, startup uh, companies or projects uh, to support uh, for, for the period of a year. So the startups that are selected, they can receive up to two, uh, 200,000 reais a year uh, to, to help their development. And uh, it's uh, interesting to notice that this startup not, not necess necessarily needs to be national Brazilian. Up to 25% of these startups uh, can be foreign. So I'll talk a little bit now about uh, Brazil's and US uh, relations. I've already mentioned that uh, the US is uh, one of our lar largest uh, trade partners. And here you can see some uh, uh, more details about this relationship. This graphic shows the amount of uh, exports uh, per year to the US, uh, from the US to Brazil. And uh, you see that the amount uh, increased since uh, 2009. And uh, 
right now, last year, the, the total of exports from the US to Brazil was over $42 billion. Uh, this, this, the, the size of this relationship uh, reflects also uh, in the number of international companies, U.S. international companies present in Brazil and vice versa. So here you have just an, a list, a short list of companies, uh, U.S. companies that are present in Brazil and Brazilian companies that are present in the U.S. So you can see that there are very big names there. Uh, on both sides. So companies like uh, GM, Ford, uh, General Electric, uh, Microsoft, and then on Brazil side, JBS, Embraer, Votorantim, and uh, Tramontina Odebrecht. So, but that's, this list does not comprise only uh, big companies. There are several uh, medium and small, small companies that, US companies and Brazilia compa Brazilian companies that have relationships with each other. Uh, so now that I've given you some reasons of why to do business with Brazil, I talk a little bit about how to do that. Uh, I think the first thing I have to mention is that uh, businessmen, uh, 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 companies, and investors willing to settle in Brazil might be eligible to tax incentives. Uh, we have tax incentives uh, in Brazil in several levels, uh, federal, regional, state, and municipal level. Uh, these systems are very, uh, the, the tax system is very complex, and uh, the amount of the incentive you might be able to, to uh, you might uh, be able to, to in, is depends on what kind of business you have and where you're settling in Brazil. So I cannot give you specific details right now, and uh, but, but anyway, uh, uh, you can find more information if you uh, reach our trade uh, trade office. Also, it's uh, worth mentioning that uh, foreigners are able to buy property, real estate, in Brazil. There are some limitations, especially regarding to marine, rural, and rural lands. But uh, if you want to invest in real estate in Brazil, you can do that. Um, it's also worth mentioning our transportation system is good, to, especially if you are in the productive, uh, uh, productive uh, sector. Uh, mainly, transportation in Brazil is, doing, is, uh, is done by roads. But we also have railroad and waterway systems that are very useful, especially if you are uh, working with commodities or chemicals. Um, I cannot have also to mention our ports that are <coughs> sorry, essential for our international trade, uh, since it holds like it's responsible for for 90 percent of our exportation. I also have to mention that uh, any American going to Brazil will need visa. So we have several business rela uh, related. Uh, visas, and uh, I'll ask you if you have interest in traveling to Brazil to uh, contact our office so that we can guide you on what, which kind of visa would be better for you and uh, what you have to do to, 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 gain, to, to be issued a visa. <coughs> We have a trade office. Uh, each, each consulate in the States, each Brazilian consulate in the States has a trade office. Our office uh, takes care of 10 states in the Midwest, so Illinois, Indiana, Iowa, Michigan, Minnesota, uh, Missouri, Nebraska, North and South Dakota, and Wisconsin. So uh, anyone in, this, in these areas that want inf trade information about Brazil should uh, contact us. Um, last but not least, I'd just like to uh, talk about this website, Brazil Export. There was development developed by the Brazilian government to promote international business. Um, it's mainly used to Brazilian and foreign companies inter uh, uh, to get in contact with each other, has some uh, interesting uh, informa informative guides uh, about Brazil, and this, it, it's free, so please uh, check it up. Um, and oh, that's it. Thank you very much. And if you have any doubt about this presentation or if you, you need further information, please contact us. Uh, my colleague, Lorraine Nascimento, will be here the whole day. And uh, we are also available uh, uh, by email, or you can call our trade office in the consulate to get more information. Thank you very much.